Hello there, and welcome to the Haunted Banana. Are you the kind of person that likes to plan their vacations around haunted locations and places with a dark history? If so, then you're sick, man. You're, you're, you're sick in the head. But you've also come to the right place. One thing that I learned before going to Morocco is that Islamic cultures view the paranormal in a much different light. There are many haunted or mescoon locations in Morocco, but people just don't talk about them. They just don't want to be judged or thought of as liars. Now the markets or medinas in cities like Fez or Casablanca or Marrakesh are these huge mazes that you can easily get lost in and walking around especially at night is really wild because the vibe changes completely the medinas and fez and marrakesh are over a thousand years old and imagine all of that spiritual residue for starters spirits are commonly referred to as jinn and they can travel from their dimension to our dimension and interact very easily as it went through people's stories and their experiences with the paranormal, there seem to be three very well-known jinn. The first is the common folklore about the genie. Yeah, pretty much the one from Aladdin. The second is Shaitan, or Satan, as we might know him. The third, and possibly the most frightening of all, is the name that must not be said. Yes, People in Morocco feel so strongly about this that they will not utter her name. Even now, she's known by many as a demon. She goes after men by tempting them and then possessing their bodies. She usually appears as a tall, beautiful woman. She may be topless, but with the legs of a goat. If you grew up in Morocco, you may have gotten an earful from your mother for pouring hot water down the drain. Because she lives under the rivers and bodies of water, she could be summoned this way, inviting evil into your very own house. Now I did actually happen to find a couple videos that genuinely creeped me out. This first video is a guy on a motorcycle when he happens to pass this human female person. I say person because it just doesn't seem 100%. As he passes her, I'll slow it down really quick and then I'll pause it on the screen. What? Here's, an, here's another video which honestly looks like it could be the same person for all I know. But this woman is just crawling and drifting from left to right all, all in the middle of the night on this desert road. Genuinely pretty weird if not creepy. This last one of these guys on camels riding through the desert and this massive dust storm and you see this person just walks straight right in front of the screen look at this I don't know if it's fake or not but it is it is pretty cool either way I, I like that one little stick man just walking past the screen hey little buddy there is one more topic that I noticed is not to be spoken of here witchcraft and sorcery are illegal in Morocco but at the same time many people acknowledge and will visit soothsayers and mediums knowing that it is technically against the law. Just recently, in 2020, four women were put on trial for witchcraft. Three women visited a Shawafa to curse their husband and prevent him from having another wife along with desecrating his grave. I could not find out what happened in this case. I hope everyone was able to move forward amicably even though I get the feeling that that did not happen. Thanks for watching. This has been another episode of The Haunted Banana. Artistic, you know?